This is today's show. This is today's show. And today's show is about the path at the end of Pleasant Drive. There's a cat. There's a cat's world. Well, I think they sold this house. They got it for sale. I long want that fireplace there. I guess I'll have to make or build my own. Buy bone. The town's been good about coming to get this stuff since this has been designated. Hey, the. Uh, area dump I guess I like this shelf I should cut that curly cue off paint it it'll work great for me if it's here when I get back I'll take it I took uh, there was another one laying here I hooked it up to my inverter and saw that it worked I'd like to knock that one over there and take the speakers out of it I got a couple of speakers out of the other one. I wonder why the fire hydrant's not working. That guy and I, I don't know, I got the speakers out of that one. And they were a little moldy. Uh, here's your fine for dumping. I guess this dumping here doesn't matter. And uh, now, I ought to come down here at night because my theory is that as a bit of civilization as you find uh, you know when the small in the big cities like I've lived in like Manhattan you would uh find a little wild area like this but it would be maintained a little bit you can see here's two paths both of them you know rains are going to be like creeks and light for them at night for the people who walk this path often Apparently, having no garbage can or lights are either getting all their light from the apartment buildings over there and it feels a kind of trashy experience of urban life to have a path like this that is not surfaced in any way to help the walker uh, <laughs> navigate, especially in rain and thunder, or some other situation of life. Here, is where Dumpsterville is down over there. They've set the dumpsters and you have life at the dumpsters of a sort we're going to see. Now I hear that man, oh man, now that's a tire tracks from the guy who runs a scooter along here. That's where the kids go out. I've seen evidence of last time I was down here taking pictures, there was panties laid out in some sort of tableau, and uh. How come they got all this stuff out here? The 
Looks like it's been here for a while. That looks like a scooter, motorcycle. I love riding motorcycles. Three years, that's all I used to get around. I almost got my ass killed a couple few times. I could feel the luck draining from my body. This is the back end of Estes. And this is the path I feel should be uh, made uh, a little bit more civilized in recognition of the fact that it's in a uh, Here it is. I mean, this is, I admit, we want some wild, but we also want safety and beauty. Safety and beauty. Signs of a thriving and healthy uh, civilization. Civilization. Some people, when you're young, a lot of time, oh, want to be wild. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't want to get too wild. Here we go. Here is a, from what I can see, often a stereotypical user of this path which we may or may not consider a safe path. Hey, how you doing? There is the uh, icon set up when, in 1957, a child was run over, about over there, in front of the in front of the property, which has now been turned into an apartment building. That was kind of a different. Different, different event from the letter we got saying what was going to happen across the street quite a bit. So we didn't pay any more attention to it since it sounded as if it was not going to affect us. It was just going to be another home, change the view. That's not what happened. <laughs> That's not what happened. Oh well, that's my, that's my show for today. <laughs> <laughs>